Okay, Joey, it's camp season. Well, it's about to be season season, yeah, right? No, it's season season. Okay, so coming up here, you guys uh, got canceled last month, but you're back up here at Kenston. What's it like teaching kids and, and doing technique? I love it. I mean, I know when I was a kid, I went to as many things as I could. I, I would, Kendall Cross or somebody would be in a club in Jersey or something, I'd go, and then the next day he'd be somewhere else. I'd follow it along. So I know, like, for me, camps like this was always great for my development, learning different techniques. Um, obviously, I like to think of myself as a very technical wrestler, so I owe a lot of that to being exposed to a lot of high-level wrestling at young ages and really just picking those brains and trying to, you know, take as much of the technique that I learned forward with me. Hopefully we've got a couple cycles coming out of you in the next four years through Japan and then 2024 and, you know, beyond that, beyond 2024. Do you see yourself coaching as coaching in your future? Um, I don't know. I mean, I haven't ruled it out, but uh, I'm definitely looking more to kind of go into a normal job. I'm in the business school at Ohio State, so, you know, I'll graduate there this spring uh, with a BS in business administration, which will be good. Um, you know, I had an internship this past summer on our new wrestling facility for the construction management company, uh, which was a lot of fun. And... I don't know, I like to kind of keep my mind sharp with with things other than wrestling too, so I don't know. But I'd say I'm leaning more towards I've always I'm always going to be involved in the sport. I know that, but you know, stepping away maybe not so much coaching, but just being involved in other ways. Okay, you went to the two of the most elite academic institutions in all of, you know, high school, Blair. Then you went to, you got into Stanford. Yeah. What what were your like what were your grades in high school for you to be able to do that? Because it's not easy to get into Stanford. They don't have, like, slots yeah. like the Ivy Leagues do, right? Yeah. Like, well, what type of student are you? Uh, I do all right. Um, I've always kind of, you know, my parents always were tough on me growing up, elementary, middle school, about getting good grades and keeping on top of my schoolwork. So I've always been on top of it. Um, Blair was on a 6-0 scale, so I had a little bit above a 5 Honestly, it doesn't translate really to the four-point scale, but um, even now, you know, I do well at Ohio State, and I did well at Stanford, so I always kind of prioritize getting good grades and doing the most I can in the classroom, too. It's important to me. just keeps me sharp and well-rounded. All right, you 23s we were just talking about it. We don't know who the guy is going to be at your weight, right? We don't, they, don't, they don't have a guy yet, right? Uh, well, I think Mitch McKee made the team. He made the team, really... but I don't even know if he's going, right? Yeah, I got no idea. With the X, the final X, with how that was formatted, you know, obviously you want to be the senior world team member, right? Mm -hmm. and you were right there, yeah. obviously. You made the final with Logan. Um, is that something where you're going to be senior level through your whole, you're not going to even do U23s like here moving forward, or what are you going to do? Well, this is my last year eligible for U23, so if I were to wrestle in it, this would be the last year I could, so it's full-on senior level. Even U23, it, it is the senior level. You know, those guys are 22, 23, you know, junior cuts off at 20. So those are high-level guys. You know, Bajrang Bajrang was in my weight last year from India, and he'll be competing for a world, world title this year under India. Um, you know, these guys are the foreigners top-notch no matter what the age. So since basically since I took my gap year and even junior level, like, I've just had eyes on the senior level. That's the pinnacle of our sport, and it's where I've wanted to be. 141. What do you think of 141, your top three guy ranking, your top three guy finish-wise twice? How do you feel about 141? Is there any, any doubt in your mind you can't win 141? No doubt in my mind. Um, I'm excited for my last ride in the folk style season. Um, you know, I helped the Buckeyes again another year, help lead this team, and hopefully turn some heads this year. You know, obviously we're coming in not as the favorite you know last year we had a super team we lost three tough guys but we got a lot of guys to fill those spots so i'm excited for me personally in my last year of college wrestling and even more so, <clears throat> more so for our team all right we got kids to teach you got anything else for me nothing else all right hey let's see some good rides on top thanks yeah. for the time good luck moving forward thank you